Well, we managed to make it through another week. Hooray for the weekend, right? It's going to be a scorcher, but, you know, you could stay in all weekend if you want, right? Because we're done with our work week for the most part. Uh, we are breaking a couple of things tonight, but before we get started, there's some information that we like to go over. Make sure everybody's on the same page. So I'm going to go ahead and get that up on the screen, and we'll get started with it as people are getting uh, into the room here. Feedback. This is up there, guys, because it get at, I get asked this a lot. My feedback is automated on eBay. Here's what that means to you. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly, literally instantly get it in return. That's the power of automation, making our lives easier right there. And of course, the second thing, far more important, is to say thank you. I appreciate you being here, spending uh, part of your Friday evening bidding and breaking and chatting with me, keeping me company and, and on the straight and narrow here. Taking a look right now at what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow night, Saturday night, we're going to break another half case of Allen and Genter baseball. It is the back half of a case that we started on Wednesday night, which was its release night. Sunday is an off night, so we're not going to be doing any breaks at all on Sunday night. But we'll be back at it on Monday. We're going to do Trinity baseball and we'll do another case of Elements football, both on Monday. On Tuesday night, we'll do another full case of Optic Baseball. Then on Wednesday, I don't know why that's in bold. It really is not supposed to be. But on Wednesday, we have two new releases. Is it not going to let me fix it? I don't know. So weird. Um, two new release products that come out on Wednesday, Immaculate Baseball and Certified Football. So we will break a four-box half case of Immaculate Baseball and a full 12 box inner case of certified football and some of you will ask i'm sure what's the difference in a in a inner case and a master case look it's basically they take two 12 box cases and they put them in a bigger box and they call that a quote unquote master case it's really just a way of making you buy two cases and calling it one you know that's the way panini does some of this stuff so it is a sealed 12 box case and that's what we will be opening uh, for certified football on Wednesday night. Now, here's what you need to know about tonight. So we've got a free shipping break and a paid shipping break. Our free shipping break is the mini helmet break. And that will, uh, the free shipping stuff with me is always projected to go out no later than a week after the fact. So that just means that no later than next Friday, the mini helmets will ship out if you hit one. Now, oftentimes it will go sooner, sometimes it goes much sooner, sometimes it's kind of close to the date you see, but it will not be any later than next Friday if you hit one of the mini helmets. The other thing you need to know about the mini helmet break, if you get skunked in that break and your team is not one of the teams pulled, your consolation card, typically I would just hang on to it and I would send it with your next package along with any others that you might be due. And that's simply because it is a free shipping break. But if you don't want to wait for your next package, if you don't hit in that break and you want your consolation card right away, send me a note on eBay. Let me know. I will get it taken care of for you. Now, our paid shipping break tonight is Elements Football. I'm anticipating that to be on the way to you approximately Tuesday. If I can get it out to you quicker than Tuesday, I will gladly do so. But as it stands right now, that is my best guess as to when you will see it winging your way. Compliments of the USPS. And uh, everybody, I imagine, will pull cards in Elements. But if you should happen to get skunked in, in that one, your consolation cards would ship with the rest of the break since it's a paid shipping break. So first up... Five boxes, which is a half case of 2019 TriStar Autograph Mini Football Helmets. This is break number three. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay Friday night, the 19th of July. We've got our team names on the left-hand side, winning bidder eBay user ID across from each team on the right-hand side. And, of course, uh, we'll show the Elements spreadsheet right before we get uh, to do that break. So if you're here for elements, hang tight. We'll be on your product uh, momentarily. Now you're going to notice here that the background goes out of focus a little bit. That is uh, intentional and don't let that 
uh, cause you too much stress. We're still going to be able to see what we need to see, uh, even though I kind of muddied it up a little bit in the background. It's going to look good in the foreground, and that's what we care about. So this is the start of a new case of mini helmets. Here's what that means. I'm going to take all 10 of them out. I will number each one on the end and then use random.org to determine for us which ones we open tonight versus which ones we'll be opening in our next break. And I'm trying to see, will four fit if I do it that way? Oh, yeah. All right. It's always a challenge to figure out how to get all 10 of these in this uh, little space here while we do this part. But this is kind of how I think it's best to do it. That way everybody can see how we figure out which ones are, are opened on any given night. So let's get these bad boys and girls numbered here. I will bring you with me when we go to random.org here in a little bit. Here's eight, there's nine, and here's 10. And nine and 10 are gonna have to set way up here on the top of this pyramid for the time being. I know, it's a lot of mini helmets, isn't it? All right, let's wander over here to random. I've gotta get myself on the right page first. Uh, we do have an unpaid team in here as well. And um, honestly, to tell you the truth, I just really don't even feel like fooling with it. So uh, we've had a lot of uh, stuff like that recently. I don't really feel like holding up the brake for it. So if I get paid, great. If I don't, oh well, that's on me, I guess. I'll take a look before Elements and see if we have any unpaid there. If we do have some there, those might be offered up in chat. All right, so uh, there's one through 10 typed in, and we're just gonna randomize a single time. It gives us boxes nine, eight, two, seven, and four. So two, four, seven, eight, nine is what we're opening tonight. Two, four, seven, eight, nine. Did I not switch you to see that? Daggone it, did I not? <laughs> That's gonna be my kind of luck. Um, well, we can do it again, although, I mean, does it really matter? I mean, but we can. It tells you right there, there's our date and time stamp where I just did it. Um, but anyway, so yeah. So there's two, four, seven, eight, nine. I switched myself over there. I don't know that I switched you over there, but since we're just using it to figure out what boxes we're opening, I don't think anybody's going to freak out too much over that. But if somebody is freaking out over it, now's the time to let me know if you want it redone. All right, two, what did I say? Two, four, seven, eight, nine, right? Two, four, so, uh, two, four, seven, eight, okay, there we go. Nine or seven's on the top. Let me get these others put back in their case. I will be right back with you. All right, so there's a mix in here of. It tells us, uh, I think, somewhere in that description, way down at the bottom, you know, where I copy the manufacturer's part of the description. It gives us the allotment, but basically there's a certain number per case that are Hall of Famers, which are usually retired guys. There's a certain number that are what they call football favorites, and then there's a certain number that are current players. So we never know what we're going to get. Greg is here. Hi, Greg and Rick as well. Hi to you too, Rick. Hope you guys are both doing well tonight. First out is for the Titans. This is Kevin Maui. Is that my pronouncing that right? Maybe not. That's just a little, uh, looks like a little computer printed type card that TriStar gives us. This is a TriStar uh, authentication that is, I think, somewhat uh, generic. The important part is the TriStar hologram sticker there on the back. And the other important part is the signature up there on the top. So that gives us the Titans up first. Greg, I don't know if we're going to have any elements available. Um, I'll double check that after we do the mini helmets. There might have been one team I was waiting on, but honestly, 
I'll have to double check. I know there was one in many helmets that that was unpaid, but as I said, we've just had such a rash of stuff lately. I honestly just don't, didn't feel like fooling with trying to move it in chat. So if they pay, they pay, and if they don't, I'm out the money. So it won't be the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last. The Cowboys and Amari Cooper. We pulled him out of our last case of this, too, the best I recall. It is a TriStar Hologram authentication there on the back. You've gotten a little uh, little Amari Cooper card there from TriStar. And once again, our generic insert there. So right now, we are Titans and Cowboys out so far. Next out, another cowboy. Wow. <laughs> it is TriStar Hologram Authentication. There is your uh, signature and looks like a Hall of Fame inscription there at the top. And this one is Mel Renfro. So double cowboys out of this case. And... I mean, what are the odds? First of all, two cowboys in one case, but secondly, that we pull them both out of one break when we just used random to figure out which ones we were going to open. And the same thing happened in the last case. We had two cowboys that came out together in one break. It's uncanny, really. You would think the odds would not be in favor of that, but but there you go. It doesn't matter because that's what happened. The Dolphins have Larry Little as the next out. And where's our hologram? Oh, where is our hologram? Oh, it's over there. It's a little bitty down at the bottom. And then there's your Larry Little signature there across the top. So right now we are Dolphins, two Cowboys, and a Titan. And here comes the fifth and final out of this half case. Let's find out who lucky number five is. Lucky number five is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It is on a collegiate helmet, so that means uh, if it's a current player, it's going to go to their current team. If it's a retired or Hall of Fame type player, it's going to go to the team they played for the longest. There's your hologram authentication. And this is Billy Sims. So Billy Sims, I'm going to have to look him up. I don't remember that at all. And there's our TriStar that goes with it and our other TriStar that goes with it. And bear with me for a minute. I'm going to have to go here to NFL.com and do a little player search here. And see if I can't find this because I don't know where this goes. Mr. Billy Sims. I should know. I'm sure that I should, but I don't. And anything I would say would just be a total guess. And we don't really need to guess, I don't think. <laughs> we really need to know. So we're going to NFL.com. All right, so Billy Sims played five years in the NFL, and they were all for the Lions. So Detroit Lions taking home Billy Sims. And I see I'm back over here, and I can see Chad again. Joe's already told us that. Thanks, Joe. I was in on another page, though, so I didn't see it until just now. So let's recap it. Billy Sims for the Lions there on a collegiate signed helmet. Followed by Larry Little and the Miami Dolphins was the number two helmet here. We have a couple of Cowboys, Mel Renfro on this one. Our next Cowboy out is Amari Cooper. They must have a lot of him since we pulled him in both cases, I think. But you never know, I guess. And then the Titans started us off tonight. Kevin Maui, or Maui. 
All right, let me get these five mini helmets that we just opened uh, put away out of the line of fire, and then we're going to be trucking right into some Elements football. So give me just a second here, guys, to get this kind of cleaned up a little bit, and we'll head right on down the road. All right, I'm going to let you take a look at some spreadsheet information in case somebody missed this earlier. If you weren't logged in when we first started and didn't uh, hear me talking about this, there's another chance for you to have a look at it. Meanwhile, I'm going to check and see where we are in terms of paid and unpaid stuff. So give me a second here to check this out. And it looks like we have got potentially an unpaid team here let me just double check one little thing and then i'll let you guys know in a second and it was uh the kansas city chiefs that were unpaid on the other but i already let that ride so all right so this is you know what this is somebody who has bid here before and the dollar amount's not super high and it is somebody who would typically pay for their stuff we're just gonna let them both ride tonight so we're not gonna worry about about either one. Oh, i'm talking not darren i'm not talking about kansas city and elements i'm talking about the one that just went through the the uh, mini helmets are the ones i'm talking about not the oh shoot 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 <laughs> sorry <laughs> i hit the wrong thing not the uh elements Elements, no, you're you're totally cool in, in elements. Yeah, for this break, yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry, I was looking back at what was setting unpaid, and I was uh, kind of talking about both. So it was the Kansas City Chiefs in the mini helmets that was unpaid, but I left it with the bidder. I did not resell it. It's a different team in this break, but I'm also going to let this one ride tonight. I very seldom do that uh, in any case, but I'm just, truthfully, I just don't want to fool with it tonight. You ever have days like that? Yeah, I'm having a day like that. I just don't want to fool with it. All right, so you saw all the shipping information there a moment ago, and we're going to roll right into some Elements football, except I guess I do need to update this one little thing right there. So, of course, this is the same format that you saw a minute ago, which is team names on one side, winning bidders cross from on the other. And, uh, of course, this also ended tonight on eBay. Friday night, the 19th of July, the release date for this product, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I like this product. It's new. Uh, well, new-ish. Last year was the first year for Elements, and I really like the metal cards in here. I think everybody likes those the best, and we'll see how they did with the base cards and whatnot this year. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, 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 you're totally good for, for Kansas City in here, Darren. Sorry, I was kind of, again, I was just, you know, I was looking at the grand global scope of it there, kind of probably muttering and whatnot. <laughs> but I definitely, you're squared away for Kansas City in here for sure, man. And even so, I'm not, uh, as I said, I'm not reselling anything tonight, so I probably will end up, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe I'll get paid for one or both, you never know. Phillip's here. Hi, Philip. Who have you got tonight, my friend? What good news are you bringing our way? We've got to get our mojo flowing. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Because this is another one of those products that has one pack per box. And you know how I feel about those. I like to get all the packs out. So that once we start, we just keep right on trucking. So that is what we're going to do right now. We're going to get all the packs out of all these boxes. And then once we get through a brief moment of delayed gratification, we'll just be able to rip, rip, rip. Darren, this is going to be my first time seeing this product this year too. 
so I, I'm in your boat. I haven't ha held it in my hand either yet this year, uh, nor have I seen any breaks of it. Most of the time these days, my head is buried in sorting and shipping, so I very seldom get to watch other people's breaks on release days, not like I used to. So I often rely on you guys until we get our first look at it to tell me like what's coming out of it and all that sort of stuff. But, but I loved the metal cards last year. I know those are back this year, so that's that's definitely the part that I look forward to the most because I think those are super nice. Greg says they look good, but the distribution of teams is a little lacking. I know, it's like the story of our lives this year, isn't it? Not just with Panini. Panini and Tops both have not done outstanding jobs of uh, collating, I guess is the right word. And sometimes you'll have a bunch of one team kind of turn up somewhat close together in a case and then you'll have other teams that you don't see at all it's kind of frustrating when that happens depending on the degree to which it happens of course and that we know also depending on the player because let's face it if we pulled out you know five kyler murrays we'd be saying it's the greatest case ever so i recognize that i'm hypocritical in that regard <laughs> for sure for sure I am. Glenn, you said it looks better than last year. Okay, good. Because the base cards are kind of what were people weren't as fond of last year. So it sounds like maybe that has improved. And Philip says, I'm going to bring the good news tonight for his Carolina Panthers. All right. I like the way you think. I like, I like it. Philip, let's work it. Let's work the mojo. Greg, you saw a lot of Kyler Murray and Mitch Trubisky. Glenn says there's some white autograph parallels that are sick. Rick needs some of my Pittsburgh Steelers, baby. Craig, you opened a box today and got a gold medal rookie auto of Drew Locke to 35. Very nice. Darren, you think you're going to hit Mahomes and Tyreek Hill and Nicole Hardman. All right. I like it, man. Let's plan big. And Glenn says lots of Raiders, Niners, and Vikings he's seen. All right, we've got sleeves on the table, packs out of the box. Let's get down to business. Let's find out. Oh, right away I see a rewards point, so I don't know. Usually, well, you guys know, that can often mean there's a big hit lurking somewhere in the case. This one is for 600 points, so that's kind of a good thing anyway, that it's high points total. We're going to set it right there in housekeeping, and we'll come back to it at the end of the night. This is, lighting is weird tonight. I'm trying to adjust the angle to see if that makes it better or worse. Maybe better, I don't know. Um, so, here is one of our metal cards. This one is Irv Smith Jr. You can see it comes with a protective cover on it. And that is why it looks kind of dull. Uh, when you get it, you'll be able to peel that off and it'll be a much brighter, shinier kind of card. And there are 50 of these. This one is number 48 of 50. And here comes Gary Jennings Jr. for the Seahawks. Oh, that is a nice looking base card this year elements of success at least that one is we'll see what the others look like numbered to 99 so seahawks and Dwayne haskins hey hey for the redskins and Dwayne there has a neon rookie neon signs that is numbered to 25 so the redskins are off to a really nice start there with your Dwayne haskins does have a little bit of, you know, kind of the usual guys, some imperfections there on edges and corners. It's nothing too outrageous, but I would expect that we're going to find that uh, kind of throughout. That's typically the way these kinds of cards run. So, Glenn, that's the first Haskins you've seen? Oh, wow. Well, then maybe we're going to have a hot case, we hope. Trent Dilfer and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and that metal card is signed, and so, of course, it has 
the plastic coating off of it because obviously I'd take it off to have it signed. So that's how it looks with the coating off. It does, as you can see, have a little more uh, oomph to it, if you will, a little bit uh, better looking colors. So Trent there is numbered to 149 on the autographed metal card. Next up, Jarrett Stidham. Oh, to 75 rookie neon signs for the Patriots. And that definitely, you can see that right away, um, hopefully. That white, well, let me get it someplace where you can see it there. Up there in that upper corner, big time chip in the uh, upper right corner. The other corners have some minor imperfections, but that one was a more, a more of a major one. Tell you what, let's set our metal stuff out separate so these things aren't smacking around on each other. Here's a Drew Lock Radioactive Rookie Relic to 99 for the Broncos, which is nice looking as well. And our other metal card that is not signed is Cam Newton, Carolina Panthers. So we're getting, uh, we're kind of getting something flowing for you here, Philip. We'll have to see if we can make some more magic happen. But that's 37 of 75 on Mr. Cam Newton. Darren, you thought it was Pat Mahomes, one of those? Oh, man, that is a drag when you see one and you think it's going to be yours and then it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. And Glenn, you need a Baker Mayfield? All right, let's work on that too. Here is Russell Wilson to 25. Nice gold parallel on a metal card for the Seahawks with Mr. Russell Wilson to 25. Here comes the Pittsburgh Steelers. Rick's got one. It is Deontay Johnson. And Deontay is numbered to 99. A pair of relics there, one on each side of the card. A.J. Brown, Titans, uh, lower right, a noticeable little chipping and minor kind of stuff on the other corners as well. Rookie Neon Signs to 25. And really, guys, none of that is as bad as it probably sounds like it is when I talk about these imperfections. It's just when I'm really picky. So when I notice them, I'm going to tell you. So the Redskins having themselves a break. Terry McLaurin to 25, and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. look at that. That is our little white signing there, our little white ink signature for the Redskins, who already have a really nice low number Dwayne Haskins, and then mm -hmm, let's just keep on going there. I'm just going to call you 101. you got a long username there, and I'm going to call you 101. All right? Is that all right? Hi, 101. <laughs> Anthony wants to know who has the Raiders, and Craig's got them. So he's, he's you know who you're after if they pull something good then. <laughs> Mike Evans, that is a one of one Mike Evans for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So nice little hit there. Always like seeing a one of one metal card or otherwise so very nice hit for the Raiders here comes Marquise Hollywood Brown for the Ravens with a relic numbered to 149 and we have Daryl Henderson for the Rams uh, these corners actually not too bad so again some minor stuff but nothing terribly outrageous and that is numbered to 150 for the Rams on a rookie neon signs. And we have a signed metal card for the Vikings with Alexander Madison. That is numbered to 150 for Minnesota. So far, so good. All right. We have here Josh Adams numbered to 10 for the Eagles. So I'm kind of digging that we are hitting a lot of the low numbered metal cards. That seems like Panini may have added a few, a few more that are, well, they changed the numbering. So they're not, we've had a few more low numbered ones than I remember hitting last year is what I'm trying to say. DK Metcalf with a nice looking relic for the Seahawks numbered to 99. Leighton Vander Esch, your little young wolf there for 
the Cowboys, that one numbered to 25 as well. And, uh, you know, again, some, you know, minor edge corner stuff, not, not anything too dreadful. Eagles, J.J. Arcega Whiteside, numbered to 99 for Philadelphia. Um, yeah, we've had a Patriot. We hit Stidham early on, maybe out of the first pack or two. So, yeah, we've definitely had Patriots. And, uh, Hardo, we'll, we will recap everything, uh, of course, at the end, too. So, you'll get a, a chance to get a look at it here when we finish up tonight. Gus Edwards to 10 for the Ravens. And a little Paris Campbell comes out for the Colts. That's a nice looking card to 49. Got the two relics and one of them a two color relic. Here come the Bears, David Montgomery. And David is numbered to 50. And then we've got a signed metal card for the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, it is not, Darren, who you specifically ask for, but it is a nice hit anyway. It is Dante Hall. It is numbered to 35, so you got the low number parallel there for your Kansas City Chiefs on a medal. Oh, um, yeah, it was an autograph, Hardo. Yeah, definitely a Jarrett Stidham uh, autograph, fairly low numbered. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll, we'll take another look at it when we finish up with what we've got here. Tom Brady comes out, numbered to 75, medal for the Patriots. Here come those Carolina Panthers again. And this one is Will Greer. And Will is numbered to 149. And that looks kind of, I don't know, that looked kind of funky right there around that circle. I guess it's not. I get. I don't know. I don't know. Looks like it's cut kind of weird right there. Maybe it's not. But it looked a little bit like possibly. Okay, we have got Noah Fant for the Broncos. Particularly, I notice upper right, but same as. Corner's edge is imperfect. To 125 for Denver. And another signed metal card. This is Riley Ridley. It is numbered to 150 for the Bears. The coating is still on the back. It's obviously off the front. And it definitely has some scratches on the front of that. Some surface scratches on the front of this one. And you're not probably necessarily going to notice it unless you hold it a certain way. But I would say... Truthfully, most of the metals that are signed probably are going to have a little bit of that surface wear. And that's really because when guys are signing, you know, they're dragging their hand or their watch or their sleeve or their whatever across the card sometimes. And that's just how it happens, truthfully. To 75, how about Drew Locke for the Broncos on a metal card? Uh, yeah, I like that. And then we have Debo Samuel, 49ers, getting involved here with a little Debo relic. And it is numbered to 149. Here comes a signature, another for the Redskins to 150, Terry McLaurin. Redskins are kind of crushing this break right now. Um, upper right and upper left, both with minor little issues there. And I feel the plastic on this has already started to peel up a little bit right out of the pack. And this is uh, Keckley for the Panthers. It's numbered to 75, and our protective coating has uh, kind of started to come off there a little bit. So let's see if we can flatten it back down after getting it into the sleeve. <laughs> Maybe I can keep it down there long enough to get it in there, keep anything else from happening to it anyway. All right, we've got four left to go. So we've opened eight boxes. We have four boxes left to go because, of course, it comes out one, uh, one pack per box. I did that the opposite way. And then we've got one rewards point we'll have to give away as well. 
For the Ravens, Gus Edwards to 75. I feel like we've seen that very recently. Ryan Finley, Bengals. And Ryan's relic is numbered to 149. Here comes Darius Slayton for the Giants. Darius numbered to 199. And oh, we've got ourselves another little white ink signature. This one is the Eagles. Miles Sanders to 25. Very handsome looking card right there. So a nice one for the Eagles. Miles Boykin, Ravens. And that one is numbered to 50. An Irv Smith Jr. Relic for the Vikings. And the Vikings are number two, 149 with a relic. Here comes another Dante Hall. And Dante, of course, the Kansas City Chiefs. And this is the first time we've seen a neon signs going in this direction. This Dante Hall is numbered to five. And that is a different card design than we've seen in the past as well. Uh, you've got some imperfections on your corners, all four corners on the front and really all four corners on the back. Again, they're minor, but they are there. But that's a nice low-numbered hit for the Kansas City Chiefs to five. And another autographed metal card about to make the Falcons happy because this is Michael Vick to 25. Don't You really don't pull a ton of Michael Vick. So, Vic to 25 coming out for the Atlanta Falcons. Well, Darren, that's your that's your uh that's your second one, man. That's your second. That's your second one for Dante Hall. Did you miss the first one? You saw the first one, right? You didn't see the first one? Oh, well, you got more to look forward to then if you missed that. Oh, yeah, no, you already have one that you didn't see earlier. <laughs> so you got two, Darren. Wait till you see the recap. You'll be even happier. This is A.J. Brown for the Titans. It is numbered to 99. Autograph. Metal. Miles Boykin and the Ravens numbered to 25. Much like our others, corners and edges are uh, with some minor issues along the way yeah you know then we have aj brown titans relic on this one to 99 definitely you can see that when that lower right it's got almost like a little i don't know if the foil's starting to kind of peel up or what's going on but that lower corner there definitely noticeable for the aj brown relic and the Pittsburgh Steelers have a James Conner medal card numbered 275. Okay, we have uh, now got one left. So that means it is the last box mojo time. That's right. We're going to collectively work our mojo here and see if we can't uh, make some big fiery hits appear out of this last box of elements tonight. Sam Darnold to 75 for the Jets. Followed by J.J. Arcega Whiteside and the Eagles. Uh, that's a nice looking relic to 49. You got two color over here and part of the Wilson writing on the leather of the football. And how about the Eagles just keep on owning this box? <laughs> Here's another one. And it has got a really, really messed up corner in the upper left. That's big time messed up. Like it's, yeah, the others are not as bad. It's Keith Byers and it is numbered to 99 for the Eagles. A little Philadelphia love. Then, last out, we are looking at Nikhil Harry for the Patriots, numbered to 99. 
All right, so we are going to recap, but before we recap, we've got a points card that we need to find a new home for, and that's uh, going to be pretty easy. We're going to use random.org to accomplish that. I'll bring you along with me as we do it. It's a 600 points card. It replaced one of our hits in this box, of course, as those points cards have a nasty tendency of doing. So here's what we do. I'm going to grab all of the team names just as a copy, whoops, as a copy and paste, maybe, from the spreadsheet here. And then we're going to bounce over to random.org. I'm going to move you over there first this time so we don't forget to move you. I'm going to drop them all in here as a paste. I'll scroll through so that you can see all of the teams are actually in here as they should be. I will hit random one single time, and uh, whoever is in the number one bidding position after we randomize is going to get this 600 points card. Anytime we have 10 or more in um, a list, we just do random once. When we have nine or fewer, we do random three times, and the third one counts. But obviously, we got more than 10 here, so good luck, everyone. Let's go into the Falcons. Atlanta Falcons are taking home... 600 panini rewards points all right so that's the end of the actual break but we're going to recap it and then after we recap it i will put up the spreadsheet information again we'll take another look at when you can expect this to ship we'll also take another look at what's coming up in the days ahead so for the falcons uh we have the 600 points card here that we just awarded using random.org we're going to take a quick little run through our non-autographed metal cards. So we have the Jets, Steelers, Ravens, Ravens, Panthers. This is the one that's got part of that coating was starting to peel off uh, already in the pack. The Patriots, the Ravens that are uh, numbered to 10. And then we have this one that was numbered to 10 as well. That was the Eagles. And the Mike Evans is actually a one of one for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Had another low number here with the Russell Wilson that was to 25. And then the Panthers and the Vikings. So those are our metal cards that did not have an autograph attached. Here are the metal cards that do have it attached. Oh, Darren, you guys are talking about, yeah, how many of those cards have, have the bad edges and corners? Pretty much all of them, when they are thick cards, and this whole set, obviously, that isn't metal, are thick. Almost all of them will have minor edge and corner issues. The difference is when they have color on them, whether it's foil or whether it's paper, whatever it is, because it has, it's not always white around it, it makes it stand out so much more. When it's white, you don't tend to notice it as much because the little dings are white, you know. Uh, but it happens in almost any set that has a lot of thick cards, unfortunately. So, Nikhil Harry there for the Patriots. Followed by A.J. Brown and the Titans. The nice Michael Vick here for the Falcons. And then a Drew Locke came out for the Broncos on one of our metal cards. Along with Riley Ridley. And here's a Dante Hall for the Kansas City Chiefs. A nice low numbered metal card to 35 on that. The Eagles with J.J. Arcega Whiteside. And then we had uh, the Minnesota Vikings with Alexander Madison. And the White Ink Terry McLaurin for the Redskins. As well as a Trent Dilfer for the Buccaneers. Didn't we have another White Ink though? I must have stacked it in the other stack. I know we've got another White Ink. So I must have stacked our other White Ink in here somewhere let's find that because it's in it's there it is like i know we pulled two of those <laughs> at the wrong stack there's the other one and it's miles sanders with uh, the white ink variation to 25 for the eagles 
So those are our metal cards with autographs on them. Now all of our others. And once again, just as a reminder, in case somebody just watching later and you scrolled right to this part, most of these have some minor imperfections on edges and corners, sometimes front and back, sometimes just back. Keith Byers for the Eagles. And that one, yeah, upper left was really nasty on that one. J.J. Arcega Whiteside for the Eagles. The Titans and A.J. Brown. The Ravens and Miles Boykin. And there's our other uh, Dante Hall. Another really nice hit there for the Chiefs. It is numbered to five for Dante. Irv Smith Jr. for the Minnesota Vikings. And then we have Darius Slayton for the New York Giants. A little Ryan Finley for the Bengals. Terry McLaurin for the Redskins. The 49ers with Debo Samuel. And Noah Fant for the Broncos. So Broncos did all right tonight too, as a matter of fact. Several teams did pretty well in here this evening. Will Greer for the Panthers, David Montgomery, Bears. For the Colts, a little love for Paris Campbell. The Boys, Leighton Vanderesh to 25. I think it was said to 25, yeah. DK Metcalf for the Seahawks. Daryl Henderson for the Rams. The Ravens with Marquise Hollywood Brown. The Tennessee Titans, A.J. Brown. The Steelers with Deontay Johnson. Drew Locke for the Broncos. There's that Jared Stidham I was talking about earlier. It is numbered to 75 for the Patriots. That's the one uh, that you missed before you logged in there. Dwayne Haskins, nice to 25 for the Redskins, who had a nice break. And then the Seahawks, Gary Jennings Jr. Oh, TJ, you, your Texans didn't get any hits. Oh, man, I know. I'm sorry, brother. That is not fun. But maybe Constellation you'll have better luck with. We hope, right? That's always what we got to hope for here. So, um and hi, Tyler. I didn't see you earlier in there, I don't think. Hi to you, Tyler, if I miss saying uh, hello to you. All right, guys, uh, that's the break. That's the recap. Let's put up our spreadsheet information one more time here. And we'll hit the high points. So there you go. Mini helmets uh, will be on the way no later than Friday a week from today. Free shipping stuff always uh, scheduled out uh, no later than a week after the fact. Often they go sooner. And if you got skunked in the mini helmet break, typically your consolation card is going to be held until your next package ships simply because it is a free shipping break. If you would like it sooner, you just drop me a line and let me know. I will handle it for you. And, of course, our paid shipping break tonight. That's our Elements Football that we just completed. Expecting that to be out the door headed your way on Tuesday. If I can get it out to you faster than Tuesday, I will gladly do so. And if you got skunked in Elements, your Consolation card or cards will ship when the rest of the break ships because this one was a paid shipping break. Gladly do so. And if you got skunked... And all of a sudden, my iPad just started talking. How about that? I had the volume off, and all of a sudden, it just came roaring to life. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I didn't touch a thing. It literally did it on its own. Oh, we're haunted. Um, here's what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow night, Saturday night, Alan and Genter, we're going to open the back half of the case that we started on Wednesday night. Sunday night is an off night. On Monday night, we're going to open Trinity Baseball and another case of Elements Football. On Tuesday night, we'll open another case of Optic Baseball. On Wednesday, we've got a couple of new releases, and it's going to be a half case of Immaculate Baseball and a full inner case of Certified Football. Once again, guys, an inner case it's still a 12 box case. It's just Panini takes two of them and they put them in one larger box and they call that a master case. It's frankly, it's just their way of 
you know, kind of making you buy two cases at once. <laughs> I mean, that's just the easiest way to say it. And of course, uh, that one, we're going to start at 9.15 Eastern instead of 9. I was a little tardy in getting it listed tonight. So instead of breaking at 9 on Wednesday, we'll break at 9.15 Eastern, 6.15 Pacific. And I believe that has got us wrapped up for tonight. Uh, so thank you again, everyone, for being here. I appreciate it. Oh, Tyler. Tyler's asking us what was pulled in the mini helmets. Tyler, I hope there's some people here that can help me remember this. Um, there were two cowboys. One was Amari Cooper, and the other one might have been Mel Renfro, but don't quote me on that. So there were two cowboys, and... Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> man, I can't remember. There was a lion. Billy Sims was in there, signed on a collegiate helmet. So there were two cowboys, a lion, a titan, I think. Who was the fifth one? Anybody? 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 Does anybody remember the fifth one? Tyler, I already carried them off into <laughs> the shipping room, so I don't have them sitting right here in front of me, and I'm I'm trying to think and tell you who the fifth one was, and I can't remember. Ah, uh, does anybody else remember? Let me think. Two cowboys, the titan, the lion, and the who? A dolphin. A dolphin. The dolphin was the fifth one. I don't remember who signed it, but it was a, maybe, well, no, I don't know who signed it, but it was a dolphin. All right. <laughs> so there you go. It took me a minute, but I eventually got us there. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. I'll be back at it tomorrow night. If I don't see you again, then hopefully I will see you again soon. Enjoy the weekend. Try to stay cool. It's hot everywhere right now, uh, but hang in there. We'll see you the next time. Bye now.